What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on SNDL stock. First of all, brief information about this company. Uh, Sandel Growers Inc. engaged in the production and distribution of flower pre rolls and vapes. It appears through the following segments cannabis, ornamental flowers, and corporate. The cannabis segments include legal cultivation and distribution of cannabis products under federally regulated licenses issued by Health Canada. Here is uh, their uh, financials and uh, for now, their total market cap is $2.14 billion. These financials are not so great for now, I think uh, just for now. And uh, their gross um, profit margin is negative 53.64% with a net margin of negative 432.64%. Uh, they have uh, $55.65 million in revenue, uh, but uh, their gross profit is negative uh, almost $30 million. Their net operating cash flow is also negative uh, 75.95 million dollars. They have total cash of uh, 15.8 million dollars with a total debt of uh, 90.87 million dollars and uh, their current ratio is 0 0.85 and let me remind that uh, good current ratio is uh, more than 1.5. So they don't have great financials but uh, I think uh, it's a temporary situation because uh, from this huge spike they have uh, some benefits and we are on their website and as you can see they have several news. The most recent news uh, was published on February 23rd and uh, it says Sandel and Indiva announced closing of 22 million strategic investment. So they have money from this news of uh, February 19th that Sandel announced issuance of new warrants and uh, 89.1 million dollars proceeds from warrant exercise. So they have uh, they have plenty of money for now and they already invested some of them. And uh, let me show you one more thing on uh, their, their financial statements. Uh, they have uh, general uh, selling and general admin expenses of around 40 million dollars. It's not a small number, but nevertheless, for now they have uh, more than 65 million dollars, and that's why I think uh, they have money for their stability and for stable growth. Let me show you some numbers. The global legal marijuana market is valued at 17.7 million billion dollars in 2019 and is expected to expand at a significant compound annual growth rate of 18.1% over the forecast period. On this uh, chart uh, we can see consistent growth of uh, this uh, industry and uh, let me show you uh, this information. It is a key matrix of uh, the report. The revenue forecast in 2027 will be uh, more than 73 billion dollars. So it is a huge market with a huge potential to grow. And uh, here is the map of uh, uh, marijuana laws in the United States. Uh, and uh, all the green states are legalized the marijuana. And uh, yellow states, as you can see, uh, they have medical and uh, decriminalized use and uh, blue and purple they have only medical and uh, decriminalized use respectively. Marijuana is completely illegal only in 12 states as you can see uh, they are red on this map and uh, many of institutional investors they are still buying this uh, share despite of this huge spike. This spike was made uh, artificially by Wall Street Bets and other communities but nevertheless it is what it is and for now we've bounced back to the 1.30-ish level and I think for now it is a reasonable price for this company. Here we can see that institutional investors are still buying several of them they closed their position and let me show you buyers and uh, sellers. First of all buyers. As you can see uh, we have, uh, we have uh, some companies that are heavily uh, buy the shares from uh, less than 500,000 uh, to more than 6 million shares and they add their position to about 3 million dollars and uh, this institutional investor uh, they add their position, position drastically for more than 4.8 million shares and uh, their current position is uh, around 2.3 million dollars. And let me show you sellers of uh, this company and uh, as you can see the biggest uh, 
position that was closed on uh, February the 12th. It, uh, it is uh, Hudson Bay Capital Management. They closed uh, their position for more than three million dollars. And uh, all the others, all the others investors, they just uh, sold their small uh, part of this company. And only ETF uh, managers group, they sold less than than one million dollars uh, in value. So, before we dive deep uh, into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel with the notification bell. In this case, you won't miss my next video. And if you like uh, my videos, please uh, hit the like button. It helps me a lot. And uh, we are on uh, SNDL uh, chart. Uh, we are on 4-hour time frame. And uh, I made my previous video uh, right around uh, the Febru February the 3rd, right around here. And uh, my call was to accumulate uh, position right around these levels and as you can see we've hit our first level and from this level we uh, we've made uh, more than uh, 342 percent of potential profits i don't know uh, whether you catch this trade or just miss it i didn't do an update to fix your profit right here i also missed uh, this trade and uh, even though if uh, you buy at this point uh, we are now hovering right around 21.21% uh, 21 21 of profits. So we are still profitable, even though uh, if we missed uh, this uh, huge spike. But nevertheless, here we can see the February 23rd, and from this point we've up for more, more than 42%. And uh, at this point, the catalyst was uh, this uh, investment. And uh, if we just uh, look at this chart without this huge spike we might see in a log scale this type of trend so we are bullish with this company and despite of uh, this huge spike uh, we can see uh, a rather healthy price movements and uh, yeah even uh, even this price movement is uh, pretty much technical and uh, uh, from the ascending triangle we have this breakout with the conviction of, of volume and then uh, we bounce back to 1.30 dollars level and uh, what should you do with this company if uh, you believe in uh, uh, this type of stocks if you believe in this industry and uh, i think uh, it is a good industry for investing and uh, you can add to accumulate your position right here. And let me show you one more thing. I don't think that we might go deeper than $1, but it's possible. Of course, it is possible. Everything is possible on markets. But in my opinion, let me show you these retracements. So for now, we from this bottom to this top, we bounce right around 0.786 level. And here we have two recent uh, surge in price. And let me show you uh, these levels of retracement. So from the bottom to the top, uh, we can see that uh, we bounce back from 0.786 uh, level as well. And uh, here we can see that we didn't even hit the 0.786 level and hovering right around 0.6. Uh, six five right around the golden pocket that's why uh, i think uh, these two levels i mean golden pocket it is a uh, range between 0 0.618 and 0 0.65 level and uh, 0 0.786 is very respective levels for this asset and that's why i don't think we might go uh lower from these points because uh, this company has enough money to operate they have uh, they've made uh, some investments some strategical investments and that's why we might accumulate our position right from this point on top of that i can tell you that uh, from this point we might even have a trade a uh, short-term trade for this company and uh, let me show you how you can handle this trade uh, basically you can start to add your position your long position right here and your stop loss will be right below previous pivot point right here and here you can see we have strong strong uh, support and uh, it is a uh, it's our uh, yellow line as you can see and i don't need these three lines and the target from this trade will be first of all this level of uh, 
price action and it will be about 64%, about 65% with the risk to reward ratio is 3.78. Next target will be around previous peak and uh, it will be about uh, 266%. And uh, let me show you one more confluent zone. I take a Fibonacci retracement tool, pull it from the top of uh, this uh, price movement to the bottom. And uh, our next stop is right around uh, $2 mark. It is absolutely the same level of uh, my first target, about 60%. So this region, this region is extremely important. It will act as a support right here. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, you can add your position and uh, you can uh, try to catch this trade. It's a risky trade because this company is still uh, technically a penny stock and uh, it has a huge volatility and uh, it's uh, quite risky to invest uh, during the red days on the markets, but nevertheless, you can have uh, huge profits from uh, from it and uh, with that being said please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button in this case you won't miss my next video see you guys next time bye